What's really good people, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Rashad and I'm back with another episode of The Mandalorian. This one is season 2, episode 7, chapter 17. Last time on The Mandalorian we had the tragedy, baby Yoda Grogu was taken by Moff Gideon's dark troopers on the planet of Tython where he had some sort of connection to the force, to other Jedi, we don't know for sure yet. Boba Fett and Fennec have returned and have now joined Team Mando in order to save the child. Din Djarin actually made a deal with Boba and now Boba has his armor back. The Razor Crest was destroyed but everybody seems to be in the Slave 1 right now and they're going to find Bill Burr's character Mayfeld who can help them track down Moff Gideon's flagship. So this is probably going to be another detour episode. We're going to find out what Mayfeld's been up to since being captured on the prison ship. There might be some tension there. I don't know how the relationship between Boba and Din are going to go, but I'm glad that they're working on the same team. Very happy that Mina Wen's Fennec is alive. And I think we're even enlisting Cara Dune to help this time around. So excited to jump into the next episode. Without further ado, let's go. I don't think that's so hard to ask for you. Oh, shit. Fess armor's all fresh and brand new. Let's get it. It looks clean as Fuck, look at that shit. Oh, and there, there is his arch rival. <laughs> How's he gonna feel about this? All you need to know is I've been a lot of rules to bring you along. Why am I so lucky? Because you inherited. I did wonder why it was him specifically that they were taking along, but it makes sense that he might know their codes and protocols and all that jazz. Oh shit, Din's gonna have to go. He's gonna go, yeah. I might be good at fast talking, but I don't think I can explain away a guy in a Mando suit to Imperial Guards. So unless you're gonna take off that helmet, it's gonna be me going in alone. He's gonna take it off? Or say goodbye to your little green friend. You're not going alone. Grogu or the Creed? Yeah, he picked Grogu. Let's get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Compromise. Look, if you're born on Mandalore, you've lived one thing. If you're born on Alderaan, you've lived something else. But guess what? Neither one of them exists anymore. Shit, he has a point. It's about perspective. Hey, I'm just a realist. I'm a survivor, just like you. What the fuck is going on? The Rydonium is still stable. Seven on five, maintain key and cord. Let's see what's off it. Cool shoot. Something just blew up. Oh shit, that just happened right there? The fuck hit them? Oh, pirates. They're trying to blow it up? What the fuck? Why? Yeah, fuck you guys. Jesus, the right odium. Come on, come on, come on. It's unstable. <laughs> guys, oh, we got a car chase. We had a dog fight, now we got a car chase. Yeah, maybe he's not gonna betray him. I don't know. I like Mayfield, he's hilarious. Ever seen a pistol run out of ammo like that? No. Man, no bear. Be careful. He's not wearing his best guy. He's not used to being hit. He hasn't been damaged in a while. Be careful. Nice. He's fucking these guys up. Shit. Now they're fucking him up. Oh no. He's still alright. That guy could have survived. I can't lie. Oh. Shit. Are they going to take off his helmet? Oh, shit. Nice. Those two are definitely dead. Oh, shit. Oh, did that hurt, Mando? More? How many of these guys are there? Oh, he's hurt. What are you going to do? Fight the grenades? 
Goddamn TIE Fighters shooting next to Rydonian. I bet they've never been happy to see the Empire like this ever before. Jesus. Wait, that was sus as fuck. Don't do that. He has to take off his helmet. He's gonna do it! So he wasn't lying. Oh, you can see a little bit of Pedro. <gasps> he took it off! Hey, Pedro! I was gonna say you can see a little bit of his chin underneath the helmet, but there he is. He took it off quick as well. See, when you get desperate, the rules change. Oh, they still have TK numbers! Ah! He doesn't know. He could be making that up. Mayfield, what are you doing? Mayfeld? Why do I feel like he's going to get angry about something? Yep. This is why he left the Empire. Shit. I hate the guy. The way this guy speaks. <laughs> Man is like, what are you doing, Mayfeld? Oh, yeah. This is going left. See, look at this. They're just not going to stop. And Mayfield is losing it. Oh, fuck! Mayfeld, keep it together. He's never about to start crying or shooting. Okay. Time to start shooting. Damn it! Just leave. Too late. Fuck, we shoot our way out. They were just eating their lunch, bro. What about these innocents? Ah, they're not innocents. I just realised that he's seen his face! Oh my good god! He's the first living person to see his face in how long? Here comes the Uber! Jeez! Is there a getaway driver? <laughs> nice. Yeah, fuck that Radonium. I don't know why it's still there or why the hatch was open, but fuck it. Well done, Mayfield. Nice shot. Dope shot. Definitely wasn't a stormtrooper. I actually love his character. Come on, Boba, let's see what you got. What is that? Wait, that looks familiar. What the fuck is that? No! Was that a fucking ion grenade? Like a massive one? Oh my god. Battlefront vibes. Oh my god. Yeah, man. He did a lot. Good luck getting the kid back. And he's just gonna go back to jail? Alright, officer. Take your time. What was the point? He didn't get anything from this. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that, uh, that wasn't uh, far from here, Chris. It just picks us up off the desk. You know, it's too bad Mayfeld's in the middle of 
Oh, she's giving him a pause. Nice, she gets to go free. <laughs> Join the crew, man. Oh, I hope he comes back. Oh, shit. This is exactly what he said to him. You do not. What Moff Gideon said to Mando. He will be back with me. Is this a recording? He means more to me than you will ever. Oh, Daddy Mando vibes. I really, really enjoyed this episode. It showed how not every Imperial is evil. I mean, these remnants are really bad. Like, they all have to die 100%. But Mayfeld, it really gave him some character depth and development. And the fact that he couldn't, he couldn't let that officer live after everything that he had done, it was crazy. Like, I, in that moment, I was so tense and I was just ready for something bad to happen. But after a while, I was like, you know what, Mayfeld, if you need to kill this guy, do it. Because he, this piece of shit does not deserve to live. After the things that he's done, the crimes that he's committed. Now, initially, back in season one, I thought Mayfeld was just a thief, an opportunist, um, a mercenary, ex-imperial. But ne not necessarily an evil guy, but he was the bad guy. In this, there's so much more layers to him that I want him to just join the squad now. Even Cara Dune herself, the New Republic Marshal, saw the good in him. And saw that he wasn't as bad and not every imperial has to be bad. I still want to know or get some clarification on why Mayfeld left the imps. Whether it was before the fall or after. But I'm glad that he at least has his own moral code. It, this episode did a lot to flesh out his character. His interactions with Mando, with Din Djarin were also hilarious. And the fact that he was poking fun at Mando's religion and his beliefs and how they can be just thrown away when he's really desperate or when he needs them to. It really, I feel like it's going to come back in the future. I think it's the seeds that have been sown of Mando taking his helmet off for good. Not forever, but just not keeping it on and following the way. I think this conversation and this time spent with Mayfeld has definitely gone a long way to making Mando kind of like question his beliefs a little bit. Because he did take off the armour and the helmet to save Grogu. And it was the only way the mission could be done. I don't think... Back in season one, he would have done that. So he's growing as a character. And he's seen that maybe his way is not the only way. Honorable mention this time goes to Boba Fett, who was literally the Uber driver, the getaway driver. And I, I'm i not going to say that they did him dirty this episode. I'm just going to say if he doesn't do anything else for the rest of the season, then it would be a disappointment. Because he was badass last episode, and this is the most badass and interesting and the most screen time I would say that Boba's actually got in the Star Wars universe or the Star Wars cinematic universe, not including books and novels and comics and stuff. But if they just regulate him to the driver because the Razor Crest is gone, I'm going to be mad. But I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Anyways, guys, that was my reaction to The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 7, Chapter 15, The Believer. We have one episode left. One more left of the season and then it's done for a while. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this reaction video. Check out my Star Wars The Clone Wars reactions. The playlist is linked down below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.